This is a micronutrient, not a vitamin, but it's more probably classified correctly as a macro mineral because it's required in greater amounts than certain trace elements or trace minerals. If you're deficient in this, you are gonna have a variety of symptoms and it's gonna be impossible for you to exhibit good health. Without the proper amount of this macro mineral in your body, you're gonna experience a variety of symptoms. Things like muscle spasms and cramps, you might have tingling in your arms or legs, conditions like sciatica or pinched nerve, you might have sleep disturbances or insomnia, you may suffer from headaches or migraines. It can even cause anxiety and mood disorders. If you experience fatigue or weakness, this is something you need to consider. And finally, it can even cause heart palpitations or high blood pressure. In this video, I'm gonna explain why this macro mineral is essential for you to live a healthy life. Let's get to it. If you guess magnesium, you are right. Stay here though, because I'm gonna explain how you can make your magnesium levels rise safely, efficiently, with both the use of a supplement and whole foods. One of the questions that we often get is, why is it that we're so deficient in magnesium? And it is a deficiency just like vitamin D or omega-3s, we just don't consume enough. The other part of it is our lifestyle. We are consuming foods that are packaged, processed, and they just don't have the quantity of magnesium required to keep sufficient levels in our body. Even whole foods that we consume, they're grown in soil that's depleted of these essential nutrients that don't get absorbed into the food. Another thing that causes a deficiency in magnesium is our stress levels. Chronic stress equals high cortisol and our body just requires more to counteract the effects of those stresses. Other things we consume like alcohol and caffeine, they are like diuretics. They make us excrete more water. We lose a lot of that magnesium through our kidneys. And when we consume alcohol and caffeine on a consistent basis, it depletes our magnesium stores. Finally, certain health conditions will also reduce our quantities of magnesium in our body. Any GI disturbance like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, those conditions will result in magnesium deficiency. Type 2 diabetes and kidney disease will also result in deficiencies. As well, if you sweat excessively or you exercise a lot, this will result in a depleted store of magnesium, resulting in your body's inability to function and heal properly. Now, if you're like me, you'd probably prefer to take and increase your magnesium through food. I'm gonna put a list of foods in the description below so you don't have to remember all the details, but there are certain things that you can consume to help naturally increase your magnesium. Remember, the foods that we consume now are still likely not as rich in magnesium as they once were, so supplementation here is probably a good idea. Foods that you can consume that will help increase your magnesium levels naturally are things like broccoli, nuts and seeds, legumes, avocados, bananas, and whole grains. And if you like dark chocolate, add it in because it has a high percentage or quantity of magnesium naturally occurring in it. There are many supplements you can choose from, but the two I like most, and the two I've seen the most benefits in my clinical practice for the last 22 years, would have to be magnesium bisglycinate and magnesium citrate. There are a few subtle differences between the two. Both you would take between 200 and 400 milligrams per day. The bisglycinate, really good for nerve issues, headaches, things like that, and it's very bioavailable and easy on the digestive tract. Whereas magnesium citrate might be a little bit harder on the digestive tract, but it's very good for muscle relaxation, muscle cramps, as well as promoting deep relaxation and sleep. Those are the two I'd start with to help increasing your levels of magnesium. Another consideration when supplementing with magnesium is what is the best time to take it? Well, there's two things you need to consider. One, if you're trying to get a restful sleep and you're trying to heal from nerve-related pain like sciatica or peripheral neuropathy, probably the best time would be to take it before you go to sleep at night. The other consideration is you want to try to take your magnesium supplements with food. Taking magnesium with food will allow your body to absorb the magnesium better and reduce the risk of stomach upset or GI disturbances. One thing I will caution, try to avoid taking your magnesium with foods high in calcium or phosphorus as those two things may compete with magnesium for absorbing into your body properly. Because magnesium is involved in well over 300 biochemical reactions in your body, a variety of symptoms can manifest. So if you're suffering from headaches, dizziness, vertigo, muscle cramping, any type of nerve-related pain, maybe you're suffering from anxiety or mood disturbances and you just can't sleep at night, I strongly recommend you start supplementing with magnesium today so you can start to feel, function, and heal better. 
If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible. If you like videos like this, maybe you'll consider subscribing so you can be informed when I upload new videos. And again, it's always appreciated if you can show some support by giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, stay well.